Hello, guests and subscribers! With towering mountains, sparkling lakes, lush forests, and miles of golden beaches, Scotland's natural landscapes are truly breathtaking. Scotland's mountains and hills offer some of the most spectacular sights in the world and provide the perfect setting for walking, hiking, sightseeing, and enjoying the wild Scottish landscape. And today we will walk along one walking path, a route in the suburbs of Edinburgh. Edinburgh is situated between the Firth of Foss to the north and the Pentland Hills to the south, and developed over the years thanks to a series of volcanic eruptions. Edinburgh has plenty of attractions to attract visitors, which range from rugged castles to creepy cemeteries. Well, the weather turned out to be quite decent today, so I, always in a good mood and hoping for a great experience, set off along the hospitably long road. Judging by the map, this road will take me to the very heart of Edinburgh's Bonali. I also understand that my path will be through hills. I can clearly see them on satellite images. And the map indicates rough terrain. And guess what? In addition to the wonderful heights of Bonali, its water bodies await us also, at least a small lake and some kind of artificial reservoir. Well, the one who walks will master the road, and so I continue to walk confidently along a fairly flat path, which takes me deeper into Bonali. I'm sure I won't get lost even if I'm very inattentive. I have a reliable route for walking. I purposefully stride forward breathing in the air, smelling of countryside and enjoy the beautiful scenery. I walk and mixed feelings begin to overcome me. On the one hand, I am in an ordinary rural area, modern and European, and on the other, the air does seem to be directly electrified by centuries laid on top of one another. Don't you yourself feel this flare of antiquity, peeping out from the stonework of a low fence, from centuries-old tiles, and from the natural Gothic architecture of the Middle Ages present here and there? I am thoroughly enjoying the bizarre harmony of today and the very old yesterday, and my eyes run to the sides eagerly looking at Bonali, which is appearing just before me. Just look how under the rays of the generous sun this cozy village reveals its amazing beauty. Even a clear stream sounds especially cheerful as it carries its icy water somewhere into the distance, obviously to the bay. And then it gets more and more interesting. Out of the blue, an alpaca farm appears. The cutest creatures resembling sheep, llamas and camels peacefully nibble the emerald grass at the same time. There are adults and very young ones, and all of them are covered with the softest-looking white and red-brown fur. I suspect that the herd is well looked after. The animals look very happy and well-fed. Do you know what strikes me now? How carefully they treat nature here. There are no closed barnyards. The herd eats quietly in open grazing, and grass grows well under their feet. The fences are simply honest. The alpacas seem to be as if they are in their native environment, on the prairies of South America. Just look at how they're resting spread out, imposingly on the lawn. This really is some kind of paradise for farm animals. How happy I am for them! I still don't dare reach out and run my palm through their fur. I'm afraid that farmers will not be very happy about contact with the animals. I would ask them about this, but I don't see any people. Where has everyone gone, one wonders? Gradually, I leave the farmland and head into some corridor and fences. Well, the gate is blocking the way and it seems I'm going out onto some kind of asphalt road. I am almost not surprised. After all, I chose this route for myself. There are suddenly significantly more trees. Why, it is as if a forest has surrounded me, joyfully squeezing me in its arms, and as if not intending to let me go anywhere. And I would linger under the shade of the foliage a little longer, if not for the thirst for new experiences, those that are already waiting for me on my personal route.
So it seems some approach in Bonali Country Park. Also, it is judging by the inscriptions on the sign that appears before my eyes. Ah, turns out I was a little mistaken. This is the old sign for Tordov Reservoir. Lovely, just what I need. I love looking at such objects related to water. I walk hastily, and now for me the area strongly resembles something native from childhood. As if I had already been here, and more than once. Well, I still step forward stubbornly. Eh, I wish I could come here a little longer. I don't have enough time to look at everything more closely, but I assure you right now, I'm gradually accumulating a stock of wonderful impressions that will not go away, I think, for several months. And here are super interesting objects for obtaining strong aesthetic experiences. A large spreading tree with red rowan and an incomprehensible boulder with an inscription. There a little in the distance, you can see a farm with llamas still grazing peacefully in the field. The view from the normal height of a quadcopter, of course, is a completely different matter. Bonali is so open for birds cutting through the air with joyful chirps. Do you see how diverse and even contrasting the relief is of the village? Either dense low-rise buildings, or endless green fields, or a spreading blue ribbon of a fast river. Written beauty, to be sure. And everything is extremely well-ordered, life-affirming, and enticing for one to pay special attention to details, size and color. If only I had a camera in my hands, I would take frame after frame without stopping for a minute. Hills, lowlands, fields and forests. Wow! There is something to look at with your eyes wide open. The majestic nature of Scotland and the reverent attitude towards its cultural heritage and the land of its inhabitants are clearly felt at every step. Well, I'm running, almost skipping along the pass again. I understand that there are still a lot of interesting things to discover and I hasten to show them to you. Well, here's the big water that I promised at the beginning of my mini trip. And this is Tordov, some kind of freshwater reservoir. Do you see how huge it is? Let's go around this giant, which holds several million tons of pure water. Whatever you may say, looking at a village in which there are bodies of water is doubly pleasant. The view of the river's ripples greatly enlivens the landscape. Fortunately, it's quite warm today, so the noticeable freshness from the water surface is exactly the same. Let's look at the beauties that appear before us without words. They are so amazing that they seem to need no explanation. Finally, I've seen enough of the reservoir, and my legs are again taking me somewhere, where the sign obsequiously show. It looks like I'm about to climb to the highest point of Bonali and take a good look at it from a high hill. I see people are already walking back and forth there. As you may have guessed, I turned and I'm slowly returning to where I came from. On the one hand, going downhill seems physically easier than going up, but on the other hand, it's psychologically difficult. I don't really want to leave friendly Bonali, although I understand what is needed. Today I'm filled completely with strong impressions. And here is an old friend, 
the same observation deck that I have already been to as soon as I entered Bonali. Didn't you recognize her yourself? For me, she has become some kind of family or something. Benches are carefully placed for tired travelers, but I don't have time to fall onto one of them and lose myself in relaxed bliss for half an hour. I need to return home, although I admit, I don't want to at all. I continue to peer with all my might into the now well-known views and understand that I'm steadily returning to where I was many minutes before. As you can imagine, I'm steadily approaching the entrance to Bonali Park. Well, it's amazing how quickly my little journey ended, and yet, it would seem, I only just entered here, and now I must leave. For some reasons it's a shame, but there is nothing to be done. Even though I'm going back, looking at what I already saw at the beginning, I still cannot live without a feeling of celebration. No, you will never get tired of such landscapes, even if you look at them a hundred times a day. That's why it's Scotland, with its inimitable flavor. Oh, how good you are, Bonali! Didn't disappoint! I'm about to see those wonderful creatures again, that I met at the beginning of my rendezvous. Here they are, grazing alpacas. They look like friendliness itself. Well, now, with sadness in my heart, I say bye to them. And at the same time, I say goodbye to all of Bonali, which greets me so hospitably on this wonderful sunny day. Goodbye, dear village. We will definitely meet again. Your beauty and countryside flavor have sunk into my heart. So I will come again, I promise. If you liked our video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.